In this class, we'll discuss about scalar triple product. A vector dot b cross c is what is called a scalar triple product. Now, if this is being given to me, how can I calculate? Before concluding the example and concluding the answer about it, we know that this is b cross c and the result of b cross c would be it's a cross product, right? So the cross product answer would be always a vector quantity. The resultant is a vector quantity. When this is a vector quantity, if I take a dot product, it would be a scalar quantity. So before concluding the equation, we know that the answer should be a scalar quantity. Let's take a vector and understand this. Assume a vector is equal to i cap plus j cap plus k cap and b vector is equal to 2i plus 2j minus k cap and c vector is equal to i cap minus j cap plus 0 k cap. Let us try to solve this. So, this would be my first step. So, i cap plus j cap plus k cap dot this cross this, it would be 2i plus 2j minus k. cross with i minus j now first i'll conclude the cross product and then i'll conclude the dot product what would be the resultant of the cross product the resultant of the cross product would be concluded like again i cap j cap k cap it would be 2 it would be 2 it would be minus 1 it would be 1 it would be minus 1 and what is a k cap it is 0 so it would be 0 now what will be the resultant of this and then again i cap plus j cap plus k cap and this has to be a dot with this now so it would be i cap plus j cap plus k cap dot with what would be the resultant of this i cap would be nothing but 2 into 0 minus times of minus into minus 1 which comes out to be i cap would be 0 minus of minus 1 minus 1 minus j it would be 2 into 0 again 0 minus so it would be 0 minus 1 times of minus 1 the k cap would be plus k cap would be minus 2 minus 2. So, this would be my the cross product. So, the resultant would be i cap plus j cap plus k cap this comes out to be minus 1 minus 1 is plus 1 times of minus 1. So, it will be minus i cap minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1. So, it would be minus j cap minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4. So, which comes out to be minus 4 k cap. So, when I take dot you know that I have to take i dot i j dot j k dot k. So, it is the magnitude of i is 1 the magnitude of i is minus 1. So, 1 into minus 1 which comes out to be minus 1 the magnitude of j is 
1, the magnitude of j is minus 1, which comes out to be again minus 1. The magnitude of k is 1, the magnitude of k is minus 4, which comes out to be minus 4. So, minus 1, minus 1, minus 4, which comes out to be minus 6. And initially, as we have said, the result of a dot b cross c should be a scalar quantity. We have already proved it is a scalar quantity.